Hey everyone, welcome to Boomin' Bigs TV. Today we are doing another Nordstrom liquidation apparel palette haul. This is palette number three. We do have two previous palette haul videos for you guys. So we did show a sneak peek of these two palettes when we got them. And we are finally going to be going through all of this stuff today. You may have seen all of the gowns that we already pulled out of here and have given to Big's daughter Ashley so that she can get them on models and get them sold. We're collaborating on that with her. We ended up with 62 gowns with a retail value of over $28,000. In the sneak peek video, I also went over all of the bags that came in the smaller box on top of the palette. So I've added those numbers to our total as well. And if you'd like to see more about those, you can check out that previous video and today we are just going to be bringing all of this stuff inside going through it seeing what we have seeing what's good what's not finding the values of all of this stuff and showing you guys what we get along the way I might not show everything because these palettes are usually close to seven eight hundred pieces and that just takes way too long but I will be giving you a very good idea of what we're getting here. This is a reversible winter coat by Save the Duck and I love this. It's fake fur, animal free. This is reversible so this can be worn on the outside or this puffer material. This is adorable. $198 value. This is an UGG jacket. $195 retail value. Habitual Kid winter coat. $148 retail value and as you can see this one has a security tag on it which we do have the big powerful magnet that removes security tags so you just put it on there and pull the pin out this you may have seen in a previous video we got from Amazon for around $40. In these liquidation palettes you do get quite a few security tags and they're not that hard to remove so this was definitely worth it. I will leave a Amazon affiliate link in the description if you're interested in this magnet. A hooded fleece sweatshirt by Zella, $49. A hoodie by Treasure and Bond, $35. A bodysuit by Open Edit, $49 value. A Top Man jacket, $69 value. A hooded shirt by Freshman, $35 value. This is a pair of faux leather pants. The brand is blank NYC and the retail value is $98. This is a pair of leggings by Zella, $39. A blouse by Vince Camuto, $69 value. A Nordstrom sparkly sweater, $32 value. Joe's Little Girls Jeggings, $39 value. This is a long sweater coat by St. John. This is actually a $2,000 item. And the only thing wrong with this is the belt loop is coming undone to hold this belt. So we're definitely going to have this repaired because of the value of this item. Sometimes items are worth being repaired and sometimes they're not. Luckily, we haven't been finding very many damaged items in this palette so far. It's been mostly new items, no flaws. Unlike that last palette, you guys saw there was a lot of damaged items in it. And we actually keep finding more and more as we're going through the items a little more closely. A baby's one-piece outfit, $35.00. A tunic top by Free People, $128. A little kid's coat by Treasure and Bond, $30. A little girl's hoodie by Zella, $49. So we're actually finding a lot more kids' items than I originally noticed when we first looked at this palette. Champion sweatpants, $40. 
There's actually three of these treasure and bond jackets so far. Sometimes there are duplicates of items, but not always. But this is one that we found duplicates so far. We've found a few of these little girls Tucker and Tate hoodies, $35 retail value each. Under Armour shorts, $22. A Madewell tank top, $68. Notori sports bra, $72. A mini Bowden sweater, $59. A Billabong mesh sweater, $75.95. A tank top by Eileen Fisher, $78. A skirt by River Island, $78. And as I'm saying these retail values, just keep in mind that this is not the price that we will be selling the items for. We will be listing them for less than the retail value and offering sales, best offers, and giving the customers really great deals on these items. And of course, still making a profit. But I just like to tell you guys the retail value of everything so that you have an idea of what exactly we got in the pallets not necessarily what we're going to make from all of the items. Wrangler jeans, $89. A blouse by CC, $69. A dress by Top Shop, $75. A men's button-down shirt by Canali, $285. And items like this, obviously we will steam and make sure that we get all the wrinkles out before listing. A sweater by Jenny Kane, $225. An adorable little girl sweater by Peak, originally $66. They had it on sale for $39. I just love this. We've actually got some really cute little kids items mixed in this palette. And so far, we've only found two damaged items that can both be repaired. So it's looking really good. A blouse by CC, $69. So far, we've found a few of these little boys Adidas shorts. The value is probably around $20. That part of the price tag has been ripped off. A women's Nike running unitard, $90 retail value. A skirt by A9 Bing, $199. What's so funny? <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Biggs is trying to mess with me the whole entire time I'm trying to film the video. I was just looking at how beautiful these flowers are, all these new leaves. It's just beautiful. It's wonderful. Very amazing at how these rescue plants are doing so well. Yeah, they do look nice. Oh, well, I guess I've got a snack now. Ooh. So this is everything so far that we're still organizing. As we're bringing stuff in from the garage, we're separating it into piles and also finding the retail values of everything, writing it down. This is more stuff we just brought in. And I'm not showing you guys every single piece, but I'm trying to show a variety of stuff, different price ranges. So I'm not just picking out the highest value pieces or the best pieces and just giving you guys an idea of the variety of stuff that we're finding. BB Dakota dress, $69. A pair of pants by Sweaty Betty. Sweaty Betty. $168 retail value. A children's jacket by Nike, $60 retail value. Becca swimwear cover-up pants, $78. A long sleeve blouse by CC, $69. A tank top by Max Mara, $195. This is a pea coat by Thread and Supply. It does have a tag, but it doesn't have a price on the tag. So Biggs is going to scan this with the Nordstrom app and see if we can get some information. And there it is in a different color, but same coat. And sometimes when it's like this, it just says sold out. It doesn't give a price, unfortunately. 
So this brand doesn't seem to be worth that much, but it gives us an idea of where to price it. A coat by L.L. Bean, $99. A North Face coat, $129. A sweater by One State, $79. A coat by Rails, $288. A tank top by BCBG Magzaria, $98. Jeans by this brand right here, $255. We have several of these little girl sweatshirts by Zella, $45 each in different sizes. A coat by BDG, $109. A jacket by Blanc Noir, $189. This is a pair of bell-bottom jeans by Good American. The price on the tag is $155, and these actually have a stain on them. Right there, it was marked with the yellow tape. Whenever you see yellow tape, you know there's something wrong with it. But this isn't a big deal. This is just some dirt, so we will easily be able to wash that off without even having to remove the tags, and no big deal. So this is one of like four items that had an issue so far. This is another one of them. This is just a men's shirt that has fuzz balls all over it under the armpits. It looks like it's been worn a lot. I have no idea how this type of stuff gets in these boxes other than maybe somebody wears it out and then returns it. But luckily this box didn't have much of this. Like the last palette had tons of this kind of stuff, so. Just a few in this one. A dress by Annie Bing, $249. A little girl's dress by Bowden, $44. I just really like this brand. I think it's so cute. They have adorable kids stuff. Another pair of jeans by this brand here. And the price on the tag is $188. This is a really nice winter coat by Cloud9. And the price on the tag is $850. And I didn't find anything wrong with this, which is awesome. And we have actually already listed and sold this coat. We listed it for $600. We had it on sale for $360. We were running a 40% off sale. And we actually accepted a best offer for $300. And this sold the second day it was listed, so we were happy to take the $300 for a quick sale. This is a little boy's jacket by Treasure and Bond, $52. Two corduroy skirts by Minnie Bowden. There's a different pattern on the inside. And these are each $47. There's a couple of these little boys Nike t-shirts, $30 each. A little boys Under Armour coat, $114. Another Under Armour coat. This is a smaller one, this is $70. This is a kid's long sleeve shirt by Treasure and Bond, $29. And we did get quite a few kids items just little stuff like this. Here are some baby clothes, random baby stuff. There's a couple of cute velvet dresses by Tucker and Tate. $39 each. There's a couple of velvet dresses by Habitual Kid as well, $48. And these ones come with the little underwear to match as well and some more baby stuff two baby coats and again i'm not going to go through every single item one by one but so far we're still doing really well only four damaged items and thinking back to the gowns that we got out for ashley there were probably 10 of them or so that are going to need work but she is able to fix little stuff like missing sequin and things like that. So a pair of pants by Spanx, $128.
This is a jacket by AKRS Punto. And I looked this up and jackets similar to this retail for approximately $1,600. This is a gown by McDougal. We must have overlooked this when we were sorting through all the gowns. The retail value of this dress is $395. Guest jeans, $128. A little boy's Nike coat, $100. A dress by Billabong, $69. A gown by Katie May, $345. A dress by ATM, $195. Two of these sweatshirts by Eileen Fisher, $198 each. A jacket by Free People, $128. A shirt by Annie Bing, $199. A vest by Johnny O, $115. This is a chic, a sept blazer with all these pins and gems. And this is the back of it. And the retail value of this jacket is $695. This is a sweater dress by Splendid, $198. And obviously this one really needs to be rolled. A dress by CC, $129. A blouse by Eula Johnson, $525. A dress by St. John, $1,095. A sweater by Free People, $268. A little girl's swimsuit, I thought this was adorable, by Shade Critters, $58. Women's North Face shorts, $45. Bib overall pants. And the brand is here. $168. Ugg sweatpants, $88. A Nordstrom sleeveless turtleneck cashmere top, $179. So we're getting to the end of everything now. I think Biggs is getting a couple more bins filled with stuff out of that Gaylord box. A lot of the items were just average priced items. I guess you could call them bread and butter pieces everyday needs items but we did get quite a few high dollar exclusive pieces as well so i was really happy about that this is another jacket by akris and as you can see the price on the tag is fifteen hundred and ninety dollars and this is just a t-shirt by the same brand the retail value of this t-shirt is 295 dollars a hat by billabong $49. A dress by Susan Monaco, $148. A little boy's Vans hooded jacket. This is a sweater dress by Rag and Bone, $495. A jacket by Tucker and Tate, $52. And I just thought this was cute with the heart on the back. So overall, we only ended up with about 20 items that were damaged, and we just didn't include them in these numbers at all. Overall, the total number of usable items is 675 items. We paid $2,200 for this palette, so that equals $3.25 per item. The total retail value of all of those items is $74,959. So that's almost $75,000 of retail value. That's the highest of all of the Nordstrom palettes we've purchased so far. We will be working on photographing and listing all of this stuff, so please check out our eBay store in the description below. I really hope you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in some way. Stay tuned for Nordstrom Apparel palette number four, which we will be going through that palette eventually and doing another haul video on that palette as well. And then probably a comparison of the four palettes video after that. So check back for those videos. Thank you for watching.